Okay, let's give you guys some practice now. So integrate this from 1 to uh, to infinity. That's really you finding out this area here. From 1, from 1, all the way to infinity. Okay, so press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, let's just integrate it from 1 to, let's say, b. Let's integrate it from 1 to uh, to b. And then later on, we can let we can let b tend to, to infinity, so we will take the limit. Uh, you see what I mean later. Okay, so, so, uh, so, so to do this, let's, let's just integrate it from 1 to b for the time being. So from 1 to b. So integrating it from 1, from 1 to b, and then later on we can let, uh, we can take the limit as b tends to infinity. But for the time being, let's just try and integrate this from 1 to b. So integrating this, let's rewrite it as this, because we've got to use, uh, we've got to use, um, integration by parts. So, uh, so rewrite this thing here as one thing multiplying another thing. So let this thing, let this thing here be u prime, let this thing here be v. We've done this before. So using integration by parts, that will then take you to, uh, to here. Okay, because if you, um, if you, if, look, looking at this, if you integrate this, it will give you this, and then, uh, and then looking at this, leave this the same. And then if you look at this here, we will need to integrate this. That will then give you this bit here. And then, uh, and then we will need to differentiate the v. So differentiating this will then give you this thing here. So it's really integration by parts, which we've done many times in the past. So that will take you to here. Now, um, now, now evaluate it. Let's try and evaluate this. Uh, so, so b, put b into here and put b into here. That will then give you this. And then take away, put one into here, and then one into here. That will then give you this. And then tidy this up so you've got one thing multiplying another thing. That will then give you this. Well, this negative here is a constant, so take it out. That will then give you a positive. So looking at this here, natural log of one. Um, if you look at the natural log here, one is here. Natural log of one is zero. So this thing here is going to be zero. Zero times this thing. It's got, this whole thing here is just going to disappear. So that will then give you, that will then give you this. That will then, this thing here will then give you this. Well, if you integrate this, that will then give you this. Evaluate it from b, from here, from one to b, and, and then now put this into here. So that will then give you, that will then give you uh, this, and then uh, take away, put one into here. So that will then give you this. You've got a negative here. Uh, blah blah blah. From here, this will then take you to here. So now, uh, now tidy this thing up, and then uh, it, then uh, then it will give us this. So as a summary, what we've got so far is so so. Remember, we we are currently at this stage here. So when you try to integrate it from from one to b, when you try and integrate it from one to b, it will then give you this. So here's a summary of what we've done so far. Uh, we we need to integrate it from 1 to infinity, but let's, let's just try and integrate it from 1 to b. Integrate it from 1 to b. When you integrate this from 1 to b, it will then give you this. So now let b tend to infinity. So allow b to move all the way to infinity. So take the limit as b tends to infinity of this thing here. Because, um, because at, at the moment, what you've got here, hang on. At the moment, what you've got here, is you integrating from 1 to uh, to b. Well, when you integrate it from 1 to b, it will then give you this. So now allow b to move all the way to infinity. Allow b to move all the way to infinity. Then you can say you're integrating from 1 to infinity. So, uh, so, so the minute you take, uh, the minute you allow b to head towards infinity, the minute you, you take the limit as b tends to infinity, then you can actually say you're integrating it from 1 to infinity. Well, integrating from 1 to infinity it will be this. Now take the limit as, um, as b tends to infinity. You see, natural log is, it grows very slow in comparison to, to, uh, to, to b. So y equals x looks like this. Natural log looks like, um, looks like something like this. So, so this grows a lot faster than this. So when you've got this divided by this, as, as, as b tends to infinity, this whole thing here will be will be uh, zero because this thing is going to be massive in comparison to the natural log of b. 
So overall, this thing here will be will be zero. And then as p tends to infinity, you've got one divided by something that's very very big. This thing here is going to be very very big. So this thing, so the the the, the whole thing here itself will head towards zero. So this is going to be zero. This is going to be zero. Well, one will always be one. So as as you take the limit, um, as p tends to infinity, this is going to be zero, zero. This is one. So the whole thing here will be one. So uh, so the area as uh, the the area will be one from if you integrate it from one to infinity. So what it's saying is that this area here, this whole area here, as you go all the way to infinity, the area will be one, meaning it has a size of this thing here, one. Okay.